tonight. I wanted to record it with a cool deck that I've found floating around here in Timeless. Uh, this is the Timeless port of the Arclight Phoenix deck that we've seen in Historic. Um, so yeah, basically the idea is you get an Arclight Phoenix out by playing three or more um, instant and sorcery spells in one turn. And you basically just get this thing back. So uh, the idea of the game here is basically just get an Arclight Phoenix into the grave as soon as possible and then cast three spells to bring it back. Um, the spells that we have to cast are Brainstorm, Sleight of Hand, Lightning Bolt, Unholy Heat, and Treasure Cruise. So pretty easy. We only really need three pips of mana. And uh, we should be able to get some Arclight Phoenixes coming back. Um, Treasure Cruise here is a pretty fun one and is supported by uh, not only the fact that we, you know, have Ledger Shredder and DRC, uh, well, okay, yeah, those are basically the two things that support it, being able to draw and discard cards. Uh, Mistress Bobble is also uh, a thing that helps with that. And then we also need to manage our Delirium for DRC and Unholy Heat. Um, Sleight of Hand is a card that I don't think I've played on this channel before, uh, a new-ish card. Uh, basically allows us to look at the top two uh, for one mana, which is pretty sweet. Uh, even though one does need to go to the bottom of the library, that is definitely uh, something that we can work with. So basically what we want to do is land a DRC or Ledger Shredder early and then use it to start to set up our graveyard for an Arcolite Phoenix turn that will hopefully kill our opponent. And of course, if they're not just, um, if they're not able to deal with these threats in of themselves, then uh, that's a game one for us uh, in a different way. Lightning Bolts can go for the face, so we'll generally try to save Unholy Heats for creatures, and the rest of this deck is just managing the matchup. Uh, mana Base is running four Flooded Strands. Uh, you could be running more uh, Fetch Lands if you want, but I am going to stick with the four for now. Uh, four Fetch Lands plus two Channel Lands means that we are pretty likely to be able to get the land into the graveyard for our... Delirium, we just need to make sure that when we're exiling for Treasure Cruise, we don't take too many um, too many lands out of there. And okay, that's basically the deck. Let's hop into some games here. Make sure to go ahead and like the video and comment if you've been playing this deck and let me know what, I th what you think I could change. Um, are there some cards that uh, would work better in the shell? And uh, if so, what are they? Uh, also, if you're new here, make sure to... Uh, Subscribe if you're new for videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll top to some games and see what we can do with Is It Phoenix. Let's see if it can hang in timeless here. All right, here we go. This is round one. My god, what a hand. We're going to need to take a creature. Um, yeah, this is pretty decent. So do we want to keep a Mishra's Bobble? Well, we probably want to keep the Bobble and the Fetch Land. I'm probably not going to play a one-lander here, so it's either Sleight of Hand or DRCs. I don't think I need two DRCs, especially if we're going with Ledger Shredder. Um, however, Ledger Shredder is requiring me to play two spells, and I don't have big redraw potential here, so I'll go like this. Um, so, we can go ahead and... I'm trying to decide if I want to Flooded Strand and then look at my top with Mishra's Bobble. I think for now, I'm just going to go ahead and take the Surveils with DRC. Opponent can go, they're probably on green because they held priority there. Um, looks like we'll need to worry about uh, once upon a time. There it is. And let's see if they're on something tribal or something different. Broker's Hideout. Uh, that sure is interesting. Um, we find Brainstorm on the top of the library. I think I do want to just start forcing things into uh, Delirium State. And actually we can hit Delirium here on our next turn, which is pretty dope. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end our turn here and then draw in our upkeep. Right, let's take a look at their top. Field of the Dead. Okay, so now we know what we're facing. So an early delirium is pretty ideal here. <coughs> <coughs> we'll play Flooded Strand here and then I'll probably go just find another Steam Vents. Um, we'll shock this one in here, play a DRC, and then go in with Sleight of Hand. Try to figure out what we want to take here. Double Surveil. Um, we know we'll have our Delirium regardless, so I think I'll keep this Lightning Bolt and we'll just be very aggressive here. I think I would like this one. Alright, and so we must attack here. And opponent's really just on one land here, so... 
I can't imagine they have much to do. They can play an Arboreal Grazer, but that just chub blocks for a turn. And we can just uh, Unholy Heat it next turn, plus Lightning Bolt the face. Um, things are looking pretty good here. We'll start to surveil for um, Arcolite Phoenixes, but we may just not even need them here in round one. Broker's Hideout, okay. That land's going to come in tapped, so if they have anything here, it's just an Arboreal Grazer. And like I mentioned, we have more than enough ways to deal with it. And they actually don't even have that, which is cool. Uh, I'll hold on to the Sokens on here. We'll see if that ends up being a thing. Otherwise, we have instant speed effects to hold until uh, our opponent does something. It's a two-turn clock, and things are looking good. Um, I am down to just say, go ahead. Uh, so we'll go Ledger Shredder here, uh, probably Bolt, and then get to Connive. Opponent may have some interaction here. Let's go ahead and play the Sokens on here. Well, we don't really need to channel at this stage. We'll attack in, see what they got here. This is Root Snare, prevents all combat damage. That's fine. Um, I think I'd probably still want to hit them to get my Ledger Shredder trigger, though. So we'll put them to 9. Uh, an Unholy Heat can go to the graveyard. We're just setting up for Treasure Cruise if we find it. And we'll discard the Steam Bends. Oh, I said we were going to have problems getting our... or keeping our lands in the graveyard. Looks like that is not at all the case with all these surveils that we're doing. Three lands. I know that they want to play a Prime Time. This actually may not be Primeval Titan. Yeah, maybe this is just Turbo Fog. Okay, that's good to know. Well, they're definitely worse for wear here. All right, we'll take our turn here. I'm gonna go ahead and sleight of hand here. We gotta look for something interesting. Um, I'll take backup creatures. I'll take a lightning bolt, actually. Um, then I probably would swap Lightning Bolt here. So opponent is effectively on a one turn clock. Uh, and then they must attack, so we might as well just swing in. Alright. We'll say go. Opponent will die in their upkeep if I am able to attack with two DRCs. Wilderness Reclamation, you got it. And definitely an interesting deck here. We'll go swing in here. We will send the squad. I think they're probably just going to crack off a root snare. Gonna just be a swords to plowshares, okay. Well, we'll take our three life. Uh, opponent will go down to four, and then we will cast DRC here, check for a counter spell. They don't seem to have one, so we go face with the lightning bolt, and that may just end up being the game. Arclight Phoenix definitely goes to the graveyard. Uh, we'll put this land down there too. We would want to look for spells in this situation. Discard Flooded Strand, and does that hit them? Yes, it does. That means they will probably die in their upkeep to the one ring. They can have Stifle to stay alive through their turn, but let's see if they can do it. Three draws, you got it. Looks like they didn't have it. Okay, so a great round one. We just applied so much pressure there, opponent couldn't make it work. Good round one, let's hop into round two.
it's round three. Hope you guys enjoyed a very quiet round two. My mic input wasn't being picked up by the computer, but now that is fixed. We have a hand with no creatures, so we're going to mulligan that one. Uh, same with number two, and I think we got to just be on five here. DRC plus Mistress Bobble feels great. We'll put away a Lightning Bolt, and possibly it's going to be Brainstorm plus Flooded Strand here, I think, so we'll get rid of the other Lightning Bolt. Uh, we are in a bad mood if they can see us here. Thankfully, they didn't do it right away. Mistress Bobble looking at who's death. Okay. Alright. So, we will go bam, bam. We actually have a second DRC. We'll go for Mistress Bobble. Start to fill up that graveyard. We can put a creature into the graveyard, which I think is kind of worth it to do. Those are kind of the harder ones to get in there. Uh, we'll have creature artifact land here, and then after the brainstorm, we will have instant as well. So that will be delirium very, very quickly as soon as as soon as turn two. So I'll have to start thinking about fatal pushing my stuff. That's flooded strand down here. I think we're probably not going to crack off the game from yet. Um, that's a little bit awkward. I, I'm supposed to play the river god pathway and then uh, brainstorm then fetch the following turn. It's okay though. Um, do I want to do this now? Is it worth it? I guess I will. No, I shouldn't have done that. They have uh, protection. Okay, well, big misplays all around. Uh, we will shock here just to uh, get rid of... Just to make sure they can trigger the hard DRC if they decide to delete them. That was a little unfortunate here, but they are going to try to kill our stuff. I'm kind of glad that I kept things this way. Uh, could have been a little bit more optimal though with our river guard. They're going to actually just kill both. So we're very delirious here with the graveyard. We got it. We're going to probably surveil and see this creature. Uh, Brainstorm's nice, but we already have one in hand. And let's see how this brainstorm goes. Yeah, so we don't have our fetch lane here. This is going to be a little awkward. Um, we can put back two lands. I think we're happy to get rid of Autowara and Riverglide Pathway. Then use Sleight of Hand to put one of them away. Move the turn. Just the land that's unfortunate. It is the Riverglide Pathway that we should have played last turn. Kind of giving me the business there. And we actually knew about that because it was in our hand. So we take Ledger Threader here. And this is going to be our second 12th turn. So not really looking to do Hopefully they do not have removal right now. The spy is... Okay, that's good. Doesn't hit. They can still hit other discards. And if they're just trying to play a discard strategy, we can do okay. Uh, we do get to connect with the discard We'll take the Hollow Stone now, that represents something that we'll need to hold up a Fatal Push for. Uh, we can also just get yoinked with Field of Ruin, but we do it basics. Uh, Sleight of Hand, let's see. I guess I'll do that first. Unholy Heat's nice. I think we'll keep the Unholy Heat. And then uh, we'll put this in tap and just bring the next step. Unless I find a creature, in which case I would want to play it, so I will do this. We'll put the two lands back here. I want to draw the flooded strand and then shuffle it away. Shuffle the rest away, so maybe I just don't activate the bubble this turn. One ring, they're up to four on that. Well, if they damage towards them, I imagine they will have another one pretty soon. Dark Rit for something scary. Peer into the Abyss almost, it seems like. <laughs> oh, Brexian Flesh Torture. Alright. That's a yikes. Uh, we can kill it. Uh, that's going to be 8 damage to us, but I think we kind of have to. Here's Flooded Strand. We're going to go for Unholy now. Pay the life. Yikes. Well, but at least that thing's not on the battlefield anymore. Let's go ahead and make our shuffle here as we pick up a steam vents. Definitely in cap given the flight shuttle. And I think that we just look at the top of their life. 
Fatal Flesh, sorry. Bad things for Holy Storm, guys. They will have it. We're gonna chain him into Wobble here. Now with two turn clock, if you're wondering, <coughs> I gotta think that they have their uh, heal grid or something here. I mean, these are things that are on the deck to just to attack me. I think as is, they don't beat me with this hand, right? Because on their upkeep, they take five, go to five, hit me for four. I mean, <laughs> we're really just not uh, not doing what we want to in this situation. Uh, I'm gonna absolutely just check their top. And we need to hope for a good top deck ourselves here. So what might happen is they take five in their upkeep, assuming they don't play a shield drift, they will lose before they can kill me. Ledger Shutter, would have loved to have that before. And uh, that actually puts me exactly to leave up. We have the whole thing that we uh, actually have fatal push, so it doesn't matter. Play the one ring. Okay. So they won't die in their next turn. And uh, definitely they just go to combat here. So we play Hall of Storm Giants, it gets fatal pushed, and it is over. Um, the permanent, uh, I see what they're saying. Okay, yeah, so we never really had it here. Um, definitely we're gonna be dead no matter what. Alright, blue black control, or actually this is full black control. Uh, definitely showing its strengths here in Historic. Not quick enough for us. Uh, we got our permanence dealt with and sometimes that happens if we had found more phoenixes we definitely could have started to waste the resources and get through but that just wasn't in the cards today round three in the bag now let's hop in round four all right round four here we go we have some creatures we have a ledger shredder that can discard an arclight phoenix we can go drc into a ledger shredder into probably unholy heat plus something else Shock in here before the transfer. Opponent's shock in as well, so that's fine. Brainstorm early. Triple glide pathway, I'd rather play. Best draw here is a Mishra's Bobble. Soltai though they can probably they, they're probably spread between advancing a game plan and actually playing all this removal so we'll have to kind of skirt the boundary of that um do i want a flooded strand crack yet we don't have a rain so i think i'm gonna do it uh, we'll get just a basic blue One mana one at that. Bot sees is going to take on Holy Heat. At least it should. And do they have another spell for me? That'll trigger Ledger Shredder. We'll get to dump off Arc Light Phoenix. Here we'll go for Fiery Island. I might actually use that to draw a card. Enter. I'm really just hoping they decide to double spell. That would be the most convenient for me. It's actually a Death's Shadow. Interesting. How can we get Unholy Heat a little bit bigger so that we can kill it? We have instant land creature, so we need artifact or sorcery. Treasure cruise. At least we get to uh, this place. Hey, there's a treasure cruise. Let's start our 
work does the way you crack the part of the screen and then uh, get off our own treasure trees. Let's see how the nano works out for that. Um, we can even crack Fiery Islet here to stock up the graveyard. I think we want to do that. Fiery Islet's technically mana for treasure trees. Alright, so we still here. We get to go Flooded Strain, we get to go DRC, Sleight of Hand for Sorcery, get Delirium, Unholy Heat. Scaling almost anything into the grave. Get rid of Arclight Phoenix. Alright, and then actually we'll just take a Steam Vents here. We want to fetch two more fetchables in deck, and that I believe was two spells cast so far. How are we looking on the ability to cast this treasure cruise? That would probably take us off delirium, unfortunately. So I'll go ahead and we'll take up that shadow. Surveil will put a creature in the graveyard set up the treasure. Bob will drop out as well. Get to surveil another treasure cruise. We'll put that back. Bob will take a look in there too. With a little bit of info. Just to fetch. We'll look back in. Not quite enough to get uh, our Phoenix out, sadly. But we'll set up a big next turn here. Putting them on the level one. Okay, we'll bring out a Goyf. We have them in the race here. We can chump block with Ledger Shredder if we have to. And we have backup DRC, so they'll have to find one to two removal cells here in the next few turns. Hopefully this pressure is going to be enough for as well. Bati takes Rare Sea or Treasure Cruise will also give them the opportunity to take Brainstorm here. So just take the Brainstorm. I'm not sure that's as good as uh, taking Treasure Cruise. They, tra they play Treasure Cruise themselves, they should know. Alright, so we have clearly enough cards to Treasure Cruise once. Uh, we'll start with DRC. Uh, this treasure cruise is going to need to find a land and something else to get going. And actually, we have lethal now, don't we? Just to be sure, let's uh, make sure this works. We need to find seven cards here. So, instant land, archive sorcery. We can take seven right here. Two, three, four, not that. Five, six, seven. Okay, and uh, it looks like that Bloodstained Mire was not finding a uh, land for Thoughtse or for uh, Fatal Push. Cool. That was round four. We have a final one to play. Let's head into round five and see if we can bowl over our last opponent with this Is It Phoenix deck. Here we go. All right, final round. Here we go. No creature. We're pretty heavy on brainstorm, but I'm not taking it. This is usable, I guess. DRC into Ledger Shredder into Ledger Shredder plus Brainstorm. Either drop the Ledger Shredder or one of the lands. I think I get rid of one of the lands, actually, because I don't want to be taking so much life with Fiery Islet. Uh, we will already take the damage here. To the Let's hope we can make this work. Opponent going in with Monastery Swift Spirit is not a chump block situation. Nice. Mishra's Bobble means that we get to trigger Ledger Shredder right away. Auto pay. Okay, get the Mishra's Bobble to trigger. Arclight Phoenix for sure in the graveyard. Um, and then I could try to go for Arclight Phoenix reanimation at some point. I think that the Lightning Bolt is what I need to get rid of, or I can keep it to take out a Swift Spear. I think I get rid of Ledger Shredder here. That might prove to be a bad one. Uh, we will attack. Another Arclight Phoenix, so we'll discard it uh, after playing these two cards. 
Reading Ledger Shredder, it's going to be a good card against them. We'll at least get probably one more draw out of it. I wish we were here. If it's a spell, we do profit now. Love a death that allows us. Two phoenixes in the grave. This could be huge. Uh, they're attacking in here. We can very easily kill one of them. I don't really get it. Oh, and we find the land. How beautiful. We're going to shock them. Uh, we don't actually need to shock in, so we'll get the blue. we go brainstorm. Almost certainly surveil into the graveyard looking for another one of these things. Uh, we will put one, two back, I think. Yeah, because we're just going to go face and kill, I think. Cool. Discard Hollow Storm Giants and final one space. Surveil in Seaman. So we don't get another one, but uh, this does take them back Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't know where I did my math wrong, but they're at negative two now. Interesting. Okay, so that was our fifth and final round here. That'll bring us to the end of the series. I think overall it went pretty well. This was a really fun, aggressive deck, and honestly, not very many uh, timeless specific cards here. You can drop things like uh, the Lightning Bolt and Brainstorm, pick up things like Charter Course and the... Um, the sorcery spectacle uh skewer the critics uh those are always pretty good and just things like that kind of give you a pretty solid historic deck it's been popular there as well uh, obviously drc is not as good there because it becomes a, a one toughness creature uh, but you won't have to deal with the same orcish bowmaster's potency that you see uh in timeless yeah overall good round uh hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to check out the deck list in the video description and like and comment the video to help with the algorithm Subscribe if you're new for videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you in the next video.